Hello and welcome back to Banton Insight. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a deceptive flick serve. Yes, having a good low serve is important, but having a great flick serve will keep your opponents guessing and maybe even get you a few quick points. Now, if you're not 100% confident on your low serve, then we'd highly recommend going to watch this video up here first and then come back to this one. Okay, so now you're all caught up, there are five key points for making a flick serve deceptive. And while everyone has their own unique style of serve, these five points will help you make your flick serve as deceptive as possible. So first up is your preparation. It has to look the same as a low serve, otherwise your opponents will know the flick is coming. You can't have a bigger backswing, stand in a different place or anything like that. And this actually brings us on to our second point. To create power in the flick, you have to use your thumb and fingers to squeeze the grip and not just your wrist or your whole arm. And this is where so many players go wrong that you can actually create the necessary power just using your thumb and fingers and it makes the flick much more deceptive. The third point is that to make your flick deceptive, you want to have a normal backswing and normal first part of the forward motion, like you're doing a low serve. But then you slightly slow down the second part of your forward motion as your opponent starts to anticipate the low serve, but not too slow, otherwise it's a fault if you actually stop. You then need to speed up the final part of the action at the last millisecond, squeezing your grip to create power in the flick. Here's a few close-ups of all the stages together. Next up is your body positioning, and this is really important. So you want to stand up tall and then almost lean into the serve slightly as you're hitting it. This will help add to the deception as your opponents will think you're hitting a low serve. And this is where many players go wrong as they actually lean back as they're hitting the flick, making it really obvious to their opponents. The flick can definitely be used as an attacking serve and not just an easy option if you're struggling on your low serve. So don't go into it with the mindset of running straight back after you've hit it. And finally, what sort of trajectory should you hit this serve? Well, we would say for this deceptive flick serve, you want it high enough so that it clears your opponent's rackets so they can't intercept it. And this will obviously depend how tall they are. And lastly, you can flick it down the line or out wide. We'd recommend only using this serve a couple of times in a match. It's great to create that doubt in your opponent's mind, but like any deceptive shot, you don't want to overuse it. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give it a like, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll hopefully see you on one of these videos we're about to show now.